Good afternoon. Welcome to St. Philip Catholic Church for the celebration of the second Sunday of Easter, Divine Mercy Sunday. Mass intentions for tonight's Mass. Deacon Francis and Louise Wagesbach, Urkel and Shirley Rodrigue, Orgy Kosnov Jr., Pierre and Delphine Haas family, Herman L. Wagesbach, Mary Ann Bourne, Robert, Louise, Ronald, and Junior James. Announcements. Observance of Divine Mercy Sunday begins at St. Philip with adoration of the Blessed Sacrament and confessions from 2 p.m. to 3.45 p.m., followed by Mass at 4 p.m. The Divine Mercy Chaplet will be prayed at 3 p.m. Office is closed on April 9th for the Diocesan Spring Picnic for staff and clergy. Youth Life West St. James meets on Wednesday, April 10th from 5 to 7 p.m. at Our Lady of Peace. Spring Fest will be held at the KC Home on Saturday, April 13th from 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. There will be fun for the whole family, including a cakewalk and bingo. And, of course, good food. We are in need of cakes for the cakewalk and goodies for dessert and prizes for bingo. All are invited. Readings can be found for tonight's Mass at 1066 in Gather, reading 1 and 2B. Please silence all electronic devices. Please rise. the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And on this day that we celebrate divine mercy, we begin as we begin all of our Eucharistic celebrations, pausing to call to mind our need for that mercy, those sins that we would like God to forgive us for, that we may be unburdened of that weight that it places upon us and may celebrate with joy and worthily these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you, Lord, are the first and the last, the resurrection and the life. 
Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, you once were dead, but now you live forever and ever. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, your resurrection gave us new life. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindle the faith of the people you have made your own, increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore